Hello, I'm your host Luke, and uh, today we're doing a iPhone 13 rumor roundup. So, rumors suggest that Apple will unveil four iPhones in late 2021 with camera improvements, faster chips, a smaller notch, and perhaps under display touch ID. So, uh, would that be in the front? So, uh, the rumored features are four sizes, similar to the iPhone 12 roundup, a smaller notch, 120 hertz uh, display, camera improvements, the A15 chip, uh, 5G, and a fall 2021 launch. So, the three, the four names would be iPhone 13, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, the Pro Max would have a 6.7 inch screen, which, yeah, I'm um, white. Uh, so, they will probably be thicker, and that might be because of a larger battery size. Um, and it will feature a much larger camera unit. unit. Um, So apparently they're considering an orange, bronze-like color. Uh, the smaller notch is the camera thing right here. Um, hmm. I mean, people have leaked these uh, pictures. Um, showing like leaks from the factory. Um, they're still not going to use USB C because they can, you know, they can charge money for that proprietary format. Um, they're, according to Bloomberg, Apple's testing and in-screen touch ID fingerprint reader that would mark a major change um, that Apple has used for flagship devices. Mm. So this would be made available in addition to Face ID. I mean like the main problem that w was this last year was you know with everyone wearing masks um, the Face ID didn't really work. Like. Mine, you'd have to move down the, you know, they said they'd fix it, but they didn't, so. Um, so the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you know, is still rumored to only have the three cameras. You know, one is the fisheye lens, which I gotta say is really uh, helpful. Uh, the next is the one to two times zoom, and then the next is the two times to 10 times soon. Um, the 120 hertz, um, at least two tw 21 iPhone models will use OLED displays with low power LTPO backplane technology which will pave the way for 120 hertz refresh rates um, LTPO offers a more power efficient backplane uh, which turns the individual pixels on and off and allows for better battery life I mean this was pretty good um, it could feature an always on display similar to the Apple Watch um, the A15 processor um, we haven't heard specifics 
to what that means and then apparently it's going to have a 5G chip and a 6E Wi-Fi that doesn't really mean anything to me um, the iPhone, so here's the battery life which is really important um, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is said to have a 4300 milliamp hour battery up from 3687 milliamp hours while the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro will feature a 3095 milliamp hour battery which it's worth the major upgrade my brother has like a had a phone that had like a 5000 milliamp hour battery it would last three days with pretty heavy usage um, so they're saying they're not really sure what the um, maximum storage is I was stupid and bought the 64 thinking that would be enough it wasn't. I think I'm going to buy the 256 if they have that. Maybe they don't. I don't really know. Um, the camera. Eh, I think that should be a separate video. But um, Apple is boosting. Uh, well, it's going to be unveiled in the fall. Of 2021, with the company likely aiming to return its to its traditional September launch timeline, so I'm getting close to it. Oh, I want a new iPhone. Uh, why is it so hard? I just want a new iPhone. I want to be able to record vlogs on it. I want to do VR streaming on it. You know, there's just stuff that I can create better content with and with that yeah like I'll figure it out but yeah uh, so they're also saying there might be some kind of foldable iPhone I really doubt that <laughs> it, that looks weird i i don't know if i would buy that like i've seen so few people with the folding um i like androids i don't know to me they just look weird but i think they'll catch on eventually when someone figures out the right design this has been your host luke like this video if you liked it subscribe for more i hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching bye